Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video. Uh, today we are going to talk about the code part of Kolpali based multimodal rag. So in the, in the last video, we have already talked about the whole theory part, like how this Kolpali architecture is given, how the different stages of uh, Kolpali is working. Uh, apart from that, we have talked about a different kind of like uh, examples as well, right? How the heat map is being created, how the retriever is being created, how we are getting that particular uh, related context, right? And now in this particular video, we are going to mainly talk about how we can implement this particular uh, concept in the coding part, right? So let's go get started with uh, this particular video. Okay. So uh, before we go ahead with Kolpali or any particular modules, we need to install some dependencies, right? So in this Kolpali also we have the dependencies, right? So, <clears throat> so uh, Kolpali is already available on Hugging Face, right? You can go there, you can download it, you can uh, deploy it somewhere and you can use it, right? As the API as well. So using that is a kind of tricky, right? It's not tricky, but it's kind of taking time. So we have the option called BiLD. So, right. So what is BiLD? BiLD here, if, if I talk about, it's somewhere um, a kind of a wrapper, a kind of a framework which is created to support Kolpali, right? So in this particular repo, if you do, if you majorly talk about the BiLD, right? So so BiLD is RAG, RAG to a mini sister project, right? So it's simple wrapper around the Kolpali repository and you can use it for late interaction mechanism, which is the backbone of this Kolpali, right? Maybe you have heard about that. So before we uh, go ahead with Kolpali, we have to install this particular dependency here, which is uh, pip install upgrade, you can say, or BiRD here, right? So before I start with this particular notebook, I just wanted to let you know that you can use Colab for this one. And when, in, when you start working on this, first you go to this and change the runtime. Change the runtime to T4 GPU because this is somewhere 4 billion parameter model and it is going to need the GPU, right? So um, Colab is providing you the free GPU, free T4 GPU. So you can run this particular uh, um, Colpali on, on based on this particular free GPU itself, right? No need to worry about that. If you try to run it on your local, you need a kind of GPU which will be having around of 16 GB of VRAM, right? So uh, if you don't have that, you can go ahead with Col uh, this particular uh, Colab notebook, right? So T4 GPU you can use here. So you can select on uh, T4 GPU, you can select a Python and you can save it, right? So I have already saved, so I'm not going to save it right now. So you can go ahead like this, okay? So once your uh, all the setup is ready, you can uh, go ahead and install the BiLD, right? So pip install upgrade BiLD. Uh, if you click in on here, all the dependencies related to Py2P image and everything will be installed like this, right? So I have already installed this, so I'm not going to run it right now. You can run it on your uh, system. Right. So once we are done with BiLD, actually in the backend BiLD, what it is doing, it is using the popular util slabd. And what is this popular? Popular is somewhere used to deal with the images because in Kolpali, you guys already know like what's happening. Each pages are considered as images, right? <laughs> so popular is somewhere helping you to work with the images or pi to PDF or something like that. But remember this thing, if you are running uh, this particular Kolpani on your, on your local, not on Colab, you have to sudo this, right? You have to install it on the root directory and also it should be added to your path variables or environment variables, right? Like that. So in Mac, you can write like a brew install popular or pip install popular on the, uh, on this particular, um, uh, sorry, sudo apt install because it should be on the install. It's not a Python package. It's a system package only, right? So you have to install it on your local and run it, uh, add it on the path variable. So once this is done, you have to install some more dependencies, which are the latest version of transformer here, uh, flat at attention, which is making uh, more accurate or more, uh, more you can say, uh, faster your uh, transformer models, right? Optimum, auto GPTQ and B, bit spikes, if you are running it on the NVIDIA GPU itself, right? So this is all about the dependencies. Once your dependencies got installed, now this is, now the main concept come, comes out here. We can import the base64 format because maybe you will you need to showcase uh, decode your um, base64 format or encode right so you can import base64 format 
from here i am importing rag multi model right multi model model so from bialdi itself rag multi model model i am importing here and from this rag multi model model is the main thing is the backbone here for running this kolpali using bialdi itself so what i'll do i'll start this rag multi model model dot pretend and i'm mentioning this one right this is video core pali 1.2 version 1.2 version 1 is available 1.2 is available and they are making continuous changes so that is there verbose i'm making as a true so when you run this particular line what's going to happen your model is going to be downloaded on your local and it will be compiled here right so if you see <coughs> your model is downloaded this model is around 5 gb right so you should have that particular space and if you running if you are running it on your local once you run this somewhere around 5 to 6 gb of ram or vram will be occupied because your model got loaded on your system itself right so that is how it's happening so this is this is done so <coughs> here i'm just uh, uh, making a directory name as docs i'm uh, just downloading this particular attention model attention dot pdf is a research paper right at uh, attention all you need maybe you have heard about that in a transformer section right attention all you need pdf i'm currently using here to test out my coal pali environment right so this is the research paper link archive from the archive i'm uh, uh, downloading it right so once you download it it would be here in the content section right let me just show you in the docs itself your attention dot pdf is given here right so this is how it's happening if you run this it will be downloaded and stored on your that particular location right and that location is content and docs okay so that is done our environment is set, is set up okay uh, we have loaded our model we have downloaded our our particular pdf or any particular pdf you can use right now the next thing comes out that is called one way approach or indexing so maybe you know here right when we talk about indexing this is an offline process right this is an offline process in my last video i have talked about this there is two process offline and online right so if i talk about offline process this is what happening here right if you see this one right offline process what what is going to happen you are giving this particular page and all the the internal pre-processing is happening your siglip model your uh, gamma model will be working together and will create the patches and from the patches it is creating the embeddings and embeddings is going to store somewhere right these embeddings is going to store somewhere and where this going this is going to store this is going to store on somewhere your local itself right so if i show you there is a uh, so if i show you th there there will be um, a uh, bialdi kind of folder will be created in the bialdi folder itself there will be embeddings right for each pages there will be embeddings that that is cool but embedding then there will be the base 64 format of that particular uh, that particular uh, page itself that will be stored right so if I show you this, this is nothing rag dot index input path is my data, whichever I'm going to uh, upload here or trying to uh, uh, index here. Index name is attention store collection with index is true. So what is that now store collection with index is true. So I am making is true. It means this particular in, uh, model will uh, convert all the pages of this pdf into the base 64 format and it will store it on my local right as i'm not mentioning any vector database or something like that so it is storing on my local that will be based on your choice if you have that particular space you can handle it you can store it on your local otherwise you can make it false so when you make it true you do not need to uh, I, i'll talk about this in two minutes right once we'll be getting on that particular line of code okay then overwrite is true overwrite is true it means somewhere what's happening let's say if you have uploaded pdf one time like right this pdf you have uploaded and indexed so attention index name is attention <clears throat> this index is being created so let's say if you again index 
right with other pdf so i am writing override equals to true what will happen here it will overwrite this particular index if i write false it will not overwrite right so if you are making the same name of index again and again you need to make it true itself so once you run it it will, it will take few time based on your gpu uh, instance and it will index all of your pages right and it will store it on the byrd folder and slash attention attention is your index name itself right so this is how it's happening after that everything is done you do not need to worry about P pi pdf extractor which is extracting your pdf you do not need to worry about chunking strategy you do not need to worry about the embedding model you do not need to worry about storing the embeddings everything is done in one line of code that is how that is the power of cold poly i'm telling you that is a that is the next thing right one line of code and doing everything okay so next we have the query part that is online part that is online part this one right so what my query let's say uh, my paper is about um about attention all you need right so what's happening i'm asking this question what's the blue score for the transformer base model from that particular way so this is a query you just need to write reg dot search query and k equals to one k equals to one means i just want only one page as output the recent one the top one i can write two as well i can write three as well whatever the number of related chunks i want or related pages i want <coughs> right so if you run this you will be getting this kind of result what is that doc id you have a different docs so this is the document one which you have uploaded you can upload multiple documents as well this is up to you right page number what is the page number of that particular document like that related chunk Right, related chunk or whatever your retriever has retrieved the content or context right this is the score 19.87 metadata is not provided and base 64 you see you have written somewhere through here that's why the base 64 format has been created and it is there right so now what i'm doing i'm storing this is this is your retrieved data now i'm just storing in the image bytes, I'm getting the base 64 format of my result, right? And now I'm trying to show you the re result, the retrieved page. Like, please listen out here. What's the blue score for the transformer base, uh, base model? This was my question. And I got the related chunk or page. And now I got the base 64, uh, 64 format of that particular page. And I'm giving this, I'm creating a new image and like that, I'm just trying to show it. And if you see the main thing here, this has written to me this particular thing. If you see blue score of transformer base model, this is given here. So it means I got the related chunk, right? I got the related chunk and related chunk being related page and now i can give this particular page because if you see the data is given here data is extracting from the table itself that's a, that's the power of multimodal right so this is we got the related chunk now this is chunk is nothing it's a page so now we comes out with the multimodal LLMs like GPT-40, like a Llama 3.2, like a Neva 22 billion, like a different uh, models itself, right? So you can give this particular page as a context, right? And this query and your multi-model will be able to answer your query using this particular context itself. So there is two things. After that, the same pipeline will be there, right? same normal pipeline normal reg pipeline which we are using we are doing the retrieve uh, we are having the retriever we are doing the query from the retriever we got the related chunks related context and given that related context to the llm and it is generating the question answer right here we are using the multi-model llm that's all this is how it's happened this is the power you, if you see like this is a very few line of code and it's doing everything whatever is necessary here for getting this particular thing is done Right. I hope it is clear. I'm not, I haven't used GPT-40 here. Next line. This is your task. Please go ahead. Use a GPT-40 API. 
or Lama 3.1 or any multimodal API and you can go ahead and you can ask that same query you can like this, this is the last part of it right give this particular data or base 64 format to your model and ask that query it will be able to answer the query question itself right I hope everything is clear or clear so this is all about this particular video guys please uh, rewatch it if you have any doubt or please mention out uh, any questions if you have on the comment section I'll be able to answer your qu queries as soon as possible uh, and uh, thank you so much and in the next video we will be talking about an streamlit app or something kind of platform which will be having the UI and you will be uploading your PDFs there and able to query something and in that particular web page or UI you will be able to see the retrieved chunk you will be able to see the uh, um, answer which is provided by the <coughs> multimodal itself right so thank you so much if you like this particular video please do hit uh, do like this particular video and subscribe our youtube channel thank you so much